Poseidon was god of the sea, earthquakes, storms and horses, and considered one of the most bad-tempered and greedy Olympian god. He is one of the three chief gods in the Greek pantheon, and the ruler of the seas, armed with a trident. He was also feared as the provoker of earthquakes, and worshipped as the creator of the horse, and had many disputes with both gods and mortals, most famously with Athena and Odysseus. Cronus overthrew his father Uranus, and ruled over the world along with his wife Rhea. However, he was told that, one of his children would go on to overthrow him, like he had overthrown his father. Fearing that his own children would usurp him, Cronus swallowed all of his children, Hestia, Demeter, Hera, Hades and Poseidon. However, when Rhea gave birth to her sixth child, Zeus, she hid him in a cave, and instead gave Cronus a stone wrapped in his clothes, which he swallowed. When Zeus reached manhood, he disguised himself as an Olympian cup-bearer, poisoned his father with a potion, and tricked him to drink it. This led to Cronus disgorging Zeus' siblings, his sisters Hestia, Demeter and Hera and his brothers Hades and Poseidon. After Poseidon was rescued from Cronus, Zeus gathered all of his brothers and sisters, and convinced them to start a rebellion against their father. Along with his siblings, the Hecatanches and the Cyclopes, Poseidon fought against his father and the other Titans, in the battle of gods and Titans known as Titanomachy. In this battle, the Olympians led by Zeus defeated the Titans, and overthrew Cronus. Zeus imprisoned all the Titans, including Cronus in the Tartarus. Zeus and his brothers then shared the world by drawing lots. Poseidon was named the Lord of the Seas, and received the rivers and the oceans. Hades received the underworld, where he ruled over the souls of the deceased, while Zeus received the heavens, and became the king of the Greek gods. After becoming the leader of the Olympian gods, Zeus began to reign over the world. When he raised his arm unveiling his lighting bolt, the other gods bowed down as a sign of respect. No god had as much authority as Zeus, only the goddess Hera, the wife of Zeus, but not even the goddess could go against the supreme god. The god despite loving his wife, was not faithful to her, and he had plenty of affairs, and because of this, the goddess Hera and Zeus lived in a permanent state of quarrel. Tired of being humiliated by her husband, the goddess started to plot against Zeus. The other gods were also fed up with Zeus' arrogance, and came together to overthrow him. The gods entered the room where Zeus slept, Poseidon and Apollo chained the god to his bed, with strong gold chains. So when Zeus awoke he was immobilized. Thetis, visualized civil war, which could throw the whole world into utter chaos, and only Zeus can avoid such a conflict. She relied on Briareos, the largest of all the Hecatanchers, who was a massive creature with a hundred arms and fifty heads. Briareos' loyalty to Zeus was unconditional, and so he went to Olympus and broke the chains that imprisoned Zeus. Zeus unleashed a mighty thunder, that shook the very foundation of the entire universe. The gods who participated in the coup laid down their arms in submission. The goddess Hera was punished for having lead the rebellion, until she made a solemn oath, never to rebel against her husband. But Zeus gave a special punishment for Apollo and Poseidon, the gods would have to put themselves at service of the Trojan king Laomedon, helping in the building of the walls of Troy. Medusa was a gorgon, once a beautiful woman who was priestess to the goddess Athena. To be a priestess of Athena, woman must be a virgin, and give her life to the goddess. Poseidon lusted for Medusa, and was infatuated by her beauty, and he pursued her to great lengths. Medusa tried to escape him by running to the temple of Athena. Athena ignored Medusa's plea for help, and was found by Poseidon, who went on to rape her on the floor of the temple itself. Athena was filled with rage. Punishing for losing her purity, Athena transformed Medusa's beautiful hair to serpents, and made her face so terrible, the mere sight of it turned any living thing to stone. Medusa was banished from civilization to an island. She was alone and men chase her trying to kill her, she looked at them in fear and saw them turn to stone. Medusa thus became a monster. 
Years later, hero Perseus came to the island with the shield from Athena, flying shoes from Hermes, and a sword helmet from Zeus. Perseus slayed Medusa, from Medusa's body came a winged horse Pegasus, and a golden warrior named Chrysor. They are considered to be children of Medusa and Poseidon. In Greek mythology, Demeter was the goddess of the grain, agriculture, harvest, growth and nourishment. When Demeter was wandering in search of her daughter Persephone, she was followed by Poseidon, who lusted after her. Demeter rejected his love, in order to escape Poseidon embraces, Demeter transformed herself into a mare, and gazed with the mares of King Onkyos. However, she couldn't conceal her divinity even in the form of a mare. Poseidon realized this, and transformed himself into stallion and joined the herd. He then forced her to mate with him. Demeter was furious due to the assault, and she treated into a cave in order to purify herself. Her absence caused the death of crops and of livestock, thus leading to a universal famine. Ultimately, she washed away her anger in the river Ladon. As a result of having intercourse, she gave birth to Poseidon's daughter, Desponia, and Arion, a horse with the ability to speak human language. Amphitrite was one of the sea nymphs called the Nereids. One day, the sea god Poseidon saw her dancing, and fell desperately in love with her. He promptly asked her to marry him, but unfortunately she refused, and fled to Atlas, at the farthest ends of the sea. Poseidon didn't give up, and sent his loyal friend Delphin, a dolphin-shaped god to pursue her. Delphin found Amphitrite, pleaded Poseidon's cause so well, that she changed her mind. Amphitrite then returned, becoming Poseidon's wife. Poseidon rewarded Delphin by placing him among the stars, as the constellation Delphinus. Poseidon and Amphitrite had three children, named Triton, Rhode and Benthesisime. Aphrodite is a Greek goddess associated with love, pleasure, passion and procreation. Though she is married to Hephaestus, Aphrodite has an affair with Ares, the god of war. The sun god Helios saw them together, in the bedchamber of Hephaestus. He informed Hephaestus about it. Hephaestus made a plan to trap them with an invisible net. The next time Ares and Aphrodite are together, they were trapped in the net. Hephaestus then brought all the gods into the bedchamber to lord at them. However, Poseidon had sympathy for the couple, and he persuaded Hephaestus to free them. Due to his kindness towards her, Aphrodite had an affair with Poseidon. She bore him two daughters, Rhodes and Herophilos. Minos was the son of Zeus and Europa, and the first king of Crete. After ascending to the throne, Minos prayed to Poseidon to send him a bull, as a sign of the gods' favor. Poseidon sent a beautiful bull to Minos, he was to sacrifice the bull to honor the god, but owing to bull's beauty, Minos decided to keep the bull. He instead sacrificed a different bull, when Poseidon learned of this, he was furious. To punish Minos for this insult, Poseidon first turned the noble bull against him. The animal became wild and enraged, destroying both fields and homes as it rampaged throughout the island. Poseidon asked the goddess Aphrodite, to punish Minos by making his queen Pasiphae, to fall in love with the bull. Pasiphae developed a mad passion for the bull, incapable of resisting to the temptation, Pasiphae instructed a craftsman Daedalus to build her a wooden structure body, form of a female bull. Daedalus then put Queen Pasiphae inside the structure, finally mated with the Cretan bull. Later Pasiphae gave birth to an unusual creature, Minotaur, who was half man half bull. Although Poseidon was a leading deity in Athens, he was second to Athena. This may be traced to an interesting myth. At the festival in Athens, which took place at the end of the year, there was a competition between Athena and Poseidon, for becoming the primary deity of Athens. During this competition, Athena and Poseidon were to offer one gift each to Athenians, leaving up to them choose their preferred gift. Poseidon struck the ground with his trident, and up came a spring whose water was salty. Athena, on the other hand, offered an olive tree. 
Since the tree brought them wood, oil and food, the Athenians choose it over the salty water. After losing the competition, Poseidon was furious, and he sent a monstrous flood to punish the Athenians.